Hello everyone, welcome back. So today in this video, we are talking about the one more important aspects of the cyber security, or you can say one of the most important aspect of the security plus exam, that is the data. So the, all the organization around the world, even not only organization, all the different actors, different countries are spending billions and billions of the dollars just to protect the data or just to extract the data. So we will try to learn about little bit about the data protection techniques and how that data protection techniques might be helpful if we know the three states in which the data could exist or data might exist. So let us go quickly and understand what the three states of data are. So security professional, today normally spend their significant amount of time or we normally say huge amount of time on the sensitive data protection as you already know the the sensitive data means the data that contains the username and passwords or the data like your credit cards number or the data that holds your driving license so whatever can be used for the malicious purpose they are the sensitive data and to protect that or to or normally to focus to protect the sensitive data the security professionals spend a lot of time normally we also serve as the stewards yeah or we normally say is like the protectors or the guardians to protect the three things of the data as you remember the cia tried we normally say the cia tried if you haven't if you did not know or if you haven't known about the CIA tried, please go back and watch my previous video about the CIA that ultimately leads to the DAD of the data. That means the CIA tried, that means the confidentiality, integrity, and the availability of the data. That means of the sensitive data that are created by the organizations and that are trusted by our customers or among among so many stakeholders that that helps to keep the things running or keep the business running so very important topic the cia tried and the and the dad tried so when we think of the data protection techniques so we should consider the three states where the data might exist and there are high chance out of those three states the data can be can be stole or or that data can be take control of so the first one is the data at rest. So normally we say the data is, is rest because when the data resides or data lies on the hard drives or normally tapes or in the or in the cloud or when we have the data in, in some other storage media. So when we normally store the data. So how that is prone, prone to the attackers or prone to attack, that means that data at rest when the data is at the rest means when the data is on the hard drive or sdd or the tapes or the or in the cloud that data is prone to the pilfering by insider and, and external attackers that means normally the insider in the companies and the external attackers outside of the company or the organization who normally gain access to the system and they are able to browse through their contents so they normally browse through the contents and, and try to attack or take control of the data which data are at, at rest state. So one of the state, the data can. The second one, normally data in motion, we also say the data in motion is the data in transit. That means when data that is in transit over the network, so from, from one place to another, that means the data travels within the network. And sometimes when the data travels over the networks, that means it is open for the eavesdropping attacks over the untrusted public Wi-Fi and the networks or, or untrusted network that anyone can have access to those network and the data over the transit are normally prone to those of the stealing of the data. And the third and the last one and the important one is the data in processing state. That means the data that is actively in use by a computer system of the data that means we normally say data in processing or data in, data in use that includes the data that is stored in the memory while processing takes place. There are several processing of the data 
I mean, there are so many editing of the data going on, adding, adding of the data, deleting of the data, processing of the data, that data can be on one of the Microsoft Excel seeds or on .csv files. So that is actively in use by the computer system. Attacker with system control, that means attacker with the control of the system might be able to read the contents of the memory and steal the sensitive information. I mean, even the, the right given, although the right matters because either it is a hard of weird right yeah, you already know about the permissions, the user permissions, about the read, write, and execute. So the attacker might take control of that, either read it or, or write it or, or edit it and steal that sensitive data or the sensitive information because we are all talking about the, the sensitive data over here. We can use different security controls to guard the data in all of these states. So in all of these states means in all of these, these three states, trying to build a robust set of defenses that protects the set of defenses in the, in the sense that that protects the organizational vital interest or, or the interest of the organization and trying a set of defense. You can make a barrier for the, for the attacker so that the data cannot be stealed when data are on this is of the three states. I hope that helps and you understand a little bit about the data protection and why the three states of the data are important. So thank you for watching.